What's up, Blade and Soul friends? I got a really awesome video in store for you today. But before we get started, um, I just want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Points of Shop. And uh, Points of Shop is one of my favorite websites on the internet. I've been using them for five years now to get tons of free stuff like PlayStation codes, Xbox codes, Steam codes. Um, I've also gotten gift cards from like Amazon, eBay, Best Buy. Um, it's a really awesome site. It's been around for seven years now. It's free to join, free to use. It has like 4 million members now. And if you're located in the US, Canada, or the UK, um, this site actually pays you $2.50 for becoming a member. So definitely go check them out. I left the link in the description below. And uh, now let's go ahead and get started with our Blade and Soul video. Welcome everybody to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Blade and Soul from a laptop or maybe another computer. Um, without having to re-download the game uh, all over again and the reason I'm making this video is because um, pretty much there were times where I wanted to play Blade and Soul um, but I didn't want to be tethered to my desktop and I wanted to play from a more comfortable location but I couldn't because you know I had to re-download the game uh, all over again uh, I wanted to play on another computer like my laptop or, uh, or a desktop but today I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can actually do it um, without having to re-download the game. Um, in order for this method to work, you are going to need like a portable hard drive or like a portable flash drive. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so step number one is you want to download the Blade and Soul Lite application from the Blade and Soul website and you want to download it onto the computer that you're going to be playing Blade and Soul on. So for example, you know, if you have like a laptop or maybe another computer, uh, the first thing that you want to do is download the Blade and Soul application first, and that's going to be step number one. Alright, so step number two, once you finish downloading the Blade and Soul Lite application onto the computer that you want to play Blade and Soul on, you're just going to double click it, and then you're going to install it as normal. So we're just going to do that real quick. And the thing with the Blade and Soul Lite application, it doesn't completely install the game uh, onto your computer. It just basically installs um, two items into your Windows registry that we're going to be editing. And it's actually not very difficult. I'm going to show you exactly what you're looking for and basically what you need to edit. So I'm just going to say yes, install and let's wait for it to install so as you can see right now it's just installing the light application onto C drive alright so we're done so we just click on finish and that's going to be step number two alright guys so moving on to step number three this is where you're going to need a portable hard drive or like a portable flash drive um, because we are going to want to move Blade and Soul we're going to want to copy it from your C drive over to a portable drive. So for example, me, I have a Toshiba Cambio uh, portable hard drive. So the first thing I want to do, I want to locate Blade and Soul. And Blade and Soul is always going to be located in C drive. And for me, it's located under Program Files 86. And these are the two folders right here where Blade and Soul is located. So you want to copy these two um, you want to copy them over to your portable drive and I've actually already done that um, so right now they are located in my portable hard drive and that's actually really important because um, this portable hard drive uh, you can pretty much uh, plug it into like a laptop or a desktop that has like a USB 2.0 or greater port uh, on it so that's going to be step number three Alright, so step number four, once you finish copying Blade and Soul um, from your main computer and basically copied it over onto your uh, flash drive or portable hard drive, um, you're going to want to go onto your uh, computer where you want to play Blade and Soul on, say for example like, you know, your laptop or maybe like another desktop. And we need to go into the Windows registry and we need to edit two items. And I know a lot of people are already like, oh my god, I need to go into the registry to do this. But it's actually really easy, and I'm going to show you what you want to be looking for. So the first thing that you want to do is, for me, I'm using uh, Windows XP. 
and uh, I just go to run and then type in uh, registry edit and it's going to bring up this window right here um, and the items that uh, we're looking for are basically um, well actually the folder that we're looking for is this right here it's called NC West and then there are two subfolders one called BNS and then one called NC Launcher and this folder um, at least for me um, it was located under H key local machine uh, then software and then um, this right here while well, 6432 node and then when I scroll all the way down there's a folder called NC West that's the one that we're looking for and there are two things that you want to um, edit in here the first thing that we want to edit is right here the base directory so uh, right now um, it's pointing to blade and soul on C drive and we don't want that the same thing goes for NC launcher the base directory is again pointing to C drive and we don't want that because blade and soul currently is located on our flash drive so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna edit this real quick but before we edit it let me show you where blade and soul is located for me on my computer so right now um, Blade and Soul is located on my J drive. So as you can see here is Blade and Soul NC Soft and NC West. So what we need to do is we need to tell the Windows Registry, look, Blade and Soul is not located on C drive. Um, it's actually located on our portable drive. So for me, it would be J. So I just type in J there, and then I go in here, base directory, and then change it from C drive to J and then press OK and that's basically it guys that's editing the registry yeah very exciting alright guys so now let's go on to step number five and we're gonna edit our launcher and that is this icon right here so when you uh, first create or when you first downloaded blood and soul light and when you installed it it installed this uh, launcher so we're going to change the file path and make it point to our portable drive because that's where Blade and Soul is now located. So we're going to change this to J and then we're going to change this to J and then you're going to hit apply and then OK. And so now whenever we go to launch Blade and Soul uh, on our laptop or on another computer, it's going to automatically point uh, to, the, uh, to our new location which is our portable drive. In my case it would be J, J drive. And that is step number five. Alright guys, uh, final step is you're gonna go uh, back into your portable drive where your blade and cell is located and then you're gonna go under um, right here NC West, NC Launcher and you're gonna wanna edit this file right here. Double click it so right now it says um, install file path is C drive um, we're just going to change that to our portable drive in this case J click on save close it and that's it guys now you can play blade and soul pretty much anywhere like you know from a laptop uh, maybe another desktop um, because with this configuration as long as you have your portable drive and you have Blade and Soul on your portable drive, you can pretty much play it from anywhere. Um, but anyway, that's my uh, video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. And I'll talk to you guys later.